Welcome to another GNU Cash Quick Start Tutorial. I'm Laura from the BusyBeatPost.com and in this tutorial we'll be working with the GNU Cash Manage Document Link Tool which you can use to link transactions to images of store receipts, canceled checks, or invoices saved on your computer or to an external file stored on the internet. If you like my tutorials and find them helpful, please subscribe and don't forget to give a thumbs up. Let's begin. Step 1. How to link a transaction to a file on your computer. To begin, say for example, I have a receipt for an office supplies transaction I entered in to GNU Cash. The receipt is saved to my computer. To link to the receipt, select the transaction in the appropriate account register. In this example, I am inside the checking account register. Here is where I will click on the office supplies transaction to select it. Since this is a transaction I want to attach a receipt to. Next, I will right click on the transaction to bring up the shortcut menu. Here is where I will select manage document link. If you're using a earlier version of GNU Cash, you might see update association for transaction instead of manage document link. When the dialog box opens, you should see two different options. The first one is selected by default, which is linked file, which is referring to the files on your computer. If you are using a earlier version of GNU Cache, yours might say file association. Leave the default selected. Click on the folder icon to browse through your computer for the file you want to attach to the transaction. Here I have the receipt I want to associate with this transaction. To select it, I simply click on it and scroll down and select OK. Back at the dialog box, you should see the name and extension of the file you selected listed here. Since this is an image file, it has the PNG extension, meaning it's an image file. Select OK to finish up. Step 2. How to open and view the file. To open the file you attach to a transaction, right click on the transaction to bring up the shortcut menu. Select the open link document option by clicking on it. Here is the receipt I linked to for this particular office supplies transaction. Step 3. How to link to an external file. To link to an external or the URL of a file, meaning a file available outside of your computer and located on the internet, this is only relevant if you have a file saved or stored online that you want to associate with a transaction in GNU Cache. For example, I posted a receipt on a page on my website to show you how to link to an external file. To begin, select the transaction you want to link a file to by clicking on it to highlight it and then right click to bring up the shortcut menu and select manage document link. And when the dialog box opens, this time select linked location. If you're using an earlier version of GNU Cache, you may see a location association here instead of linked location. To link to a document saved on the internet, you need to enter the URL to the site in the text box provided. You can type in the address to the internet site or you can visit the site and copy and paste the URL into the text box, which is what I like to do. For example, here I am on the page on my website where I posted the receipt. I am simply going to copy the URL and then go back to the dialog box and paste the link 
in the dialog box and select OK. To view the location of the file, we would use the same method we used to view the link receipt on the computer. Right click on the transaction to bring up the shortcut menu and select open link document. The only difference this time is that this function will open up the browser on your computer to the location on the internet where your file is saved. Here is the receipt I have saved on my web page. This is just to give you an example how the link location function works. In most cases, if you are linking to a particular page like I have here with your receipt information on it, it would or should be stored on a website which would require a password to see the document or documents. Step 4. How to view transactions in the register that have linked files. Looking at the account register, you'll notice that you can't tell which transactions have a file attached to it and which transactions don't. And that's because we are in the basic ledger view. To view the transactions that have files attached to them, while still inside the account register, select view on the menu bar. And when the menu opens, select the double line mode. Below the transaction in the notes row, in the reconciliation column, you should see a chain link symbol if there's a URL associated with the transaction and a paper clip symbol if there's a file associated with the transaction as long as those symbols are supported by the current font. You will notice when you hover over the cell it will display the file path or URL and if you click on any one of the symbols it will open the file or URL the same way it would if you were selecting the open document link on the shortcut menu. To return to the basic ledger view, select view on the menu bar. And when the menu opens, click on the check mark across from double line to deselect that feature and return to the basic ledger view. Now there is another way you can tell if you have a file attached to a transaction. When you right click on a transaction to bring up the shortcut menu, if the open document listing is highlighted and not grayed out as shown here, that means there is a file attached to that transaction. In this example I used an image file but it doesn't matter if it's an image file or if it was a document such as a PDF file. You would use the same method as I used here to link any other type of file. Thank you for watching. If you like my tutorials and find them helpful, please subscribe and don't forget to give a thumbs up. See you in the next video.